Hello, this is Faith of Faith and Books, and I'm going to do something different. Never done this before. I'm going to do a grocery haul. And this grocery haul has in mind the food miles of the food that I'm buying, because the further away your food has come from, uh, the more problematic it becomes uh, when you're talking about pollution and waste and um, depleting the nutritional quality of the food as well. So food miles, you want to buy locally or you want to grow locally, that's the best. Eating seasonally, that's the best. Here comes the cat. What are you gonna do? Yeah, there we go. Here, let me move him. <laughs> Get down, okay. All right, so um, I'm gonna spill this water. I better move this. Mm. So anyway, when I'm shopping, I'm thinking about food miles and I'm also thinking about packaging. So I spent about, I'm guessing, because I went to two different places, um, I'm guessing maybe 310, 315. This is just what we need for this week. It might not even be everything we need. There's a few basic things I didn't get. Um, and, um, you know, but I, I am feeding at least four people a night. So it's usually my husband and me and then a little six-year-old, and then often somebody else, like his mother, or um, or one of my sons who lives here. I have two sons living here, and then when my daughter's here. So it could be, up. it's anywhere from four to seven people, and a lot of times I don't know. So I'm always like, if, if I make something and then somebody shows up, I don't have enough, or I make way too much, and then I spend the next four days eating it for lunch and get really sick of it and the end of it winds up going into the compost bin. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit tricky for me. Um, so, and this doesn't include any of the meat that I buy from the farm. So I better hurry up because this, I just got home. It's a very hot day, even though it's only May 21st. And, um, and I wanna put things away. <laughs> so I went to the farmer's market. My town has this very nice farmer's market. And I've got this huge thing of lettuce. And this is a um, bag that my uh, daughter-in-law knitted for me. But I've got this big thing of lettuce here. So that's going to be our salad uh, making for the, for the week. I don't know where I'm going to stash all this stuff. I guess most of it is going to go back in the bags here. Um, and then I also bought some radishes. Just because I tried to grow radishes in my garden and they didn't do anything. They're teeny tiny. These are huge. The ones I tried to grow are like tiny, tiny. So I was very disappointed. Oh man, these uh, spilled. Okay, I bought, I bought like a pint of sugar snap peas, which are all over the bottom of this bag. And then I also bought two of these uh, zucchini. So these are all locally grown. And I bought them at the farmer's market. <sighs> See if I can put this back in here. Okay, so that was the first stop. Then I went to my regular store that I go to, which is called um, the Fresh Market. And I'm just gonna pull things up and talk about it as I go. So one thing that I bought is some hard cider. Uh, this, I don't drink a lot, but maybe like on the weekend I'll have one of these. Usually I split it with somebody. Um, because I just like a few sips, that's all I want. Um, but this is nice because it's locally made. It's uh, crushed and crafted in Blue Ridge Mountains. I live in Virginia, so that's my territory. It's gluten-free. Um, and uh, what I like about it is it's glass. We have a glass recycling program here in my county, so I can recycle this. And of course the paper, I can recycle the paper, uh, the cardboard folder. The only thing that I can't recycle is this because it's too little to go through the on the recycling conveyor belt at the center. It'll just fall through. So this, unfortunately, and it's metal, is trash, which is unfortunate. But but that's that's for me and my husband. My husband likes beer better, but I'm trying to get him to be more on an anti-inflammatory diet because he really needs to be on an anti-inflammatory diet. And this is much better for him, even though it's high in sugar, but it doesn't have the gluten in it that, um, that beer has. 
And then I got some coffee and they have big bins and you can grind it right there, which I really like. This is a Kona variety, so it's from Hawaii. So I'm, you know, it's, it's far away from me, but at least it's USA. And I'm hoping, you know, the workers are treated a little bit better. Um, we're avoiding slave labor and that sort of thing, I'm hoping. So I got caffeinated and decaf because I always go half and half anymore. I can't drink straight coffee anymore. It will just keep me awake at night. So that's that. And I like that um, I can... I can recycle this if I put it into my Hive Brands um, bag to send back. It is plastic lined, so that's unfortunate, but at least it's not as bad as a, I don't know. I don't know whether it's bad or not, uh, but, but sometimes I can actually recycle it, so that's good. Uh, let's see, some other things I got that are frozen. So these are gluten-free pizza crusts, and I use them just for bread. I don't eat bread that often, but I use them for bread. They're, they're, this is actually a really good brand. I've never seen it in any other store than the Fresh Market, but I really like it a lot. Um, now, it's, you know, it's not the most healthy thing in the world. It's white rice flour, potato starch, organic palm fruit shortening. Could that be questionable? Um, yeah, but it's, it's nice bread. I like it. And, um, and, you know, it's gluten-free, allergy-friendly. So it's good for my daughter, too, who has a lot of uh, food allergies. Um, so, yeah. So now, each of these is in a plastic wrapper, a clear plastic, kind of almost like cellophane-type wrapper. And when I have the Hive brand uh, mailer, I can uh, put those in that and recycle those wrappers as well. So that's really nice. Let's see, what else do I have? I bought some, some tomato sauce. I really want to grow my own tomatoes and make my own tomato sauce this summer. That's my dream. Um, but I got this. This was on sale. Um, this is a good brand, and like the ingredients are great. Tomatoes, onions, carrots, Italian olive oil, celery, salt, pepper, fresh basil, fresh parsley, and bay leaf. Nothing else, it says. So... I like this brand. It was the other one I get is Rao's, right? R A O. Um, but that one is more expensive, even though it was on sale actually. But it was only a 24 ounce, and this is 32. Um, so I got this. This was the better deal. And then I got a couple of cans of tuna to have on hand. This is the skipjack. Wild tuna, which I think is the lowest in mercury, or one of the lower ones. Um, for some reason, they only had no salt. Um, but yeah, so Wild Planet, I think, is a good is a good brand, I think. But of course, I don't know where this was caught. So this is probably from far away. Um, you know, it's the nature of some things, you know, you have to get from far away. Uh, you can't get them otherwise. I mean... I think if you have it, just a few staples, because of course humans have always traded, right? Like we trade it for salt, we trade for, for fish if you don't live near the seaside or whatever. We've always traded. It. It's just that we've gone crazy. We're like manic about it now with this whole global agribusiness that is just doing so much harm to us and to the planet. And then I bought a bunch of cat food because, and that's one thing, I don't know how to get around the cat food thing. I really don't that my cat only likes these little cans. And so I buy them, I wash them out and put them in recycling. I hope that they get recycled. Uh, let's see, what else? I, wanna, I bought a cucumber um, and it says product of USA. So, and no, no packaging. Even the uh, sticker is not plastic. Usually they have these little plastic stickers, so annoying. This one isn't, it's just, I could rub it off. It's a paper. So that's really nice. All right, so that's that over there. Let's see what this, what I've got in here. So I got these big potatoes. These are from Idaho. Uh, I don't know if they're organic or not. Um, and I, what I did was I just pick them up. I don't even use a plastic bag that they have there. I just pick them up and put them in my cart. I don't need the plastic bag. Or if you worry about that sort of thing, you can get, like if you go to one of these like Life Without Plastic or one of these, um, 
you know, zero waste stores. You can buy reusable produce bags. I used to have some, but somehow I lost them and I don't really need them. Um, so I got the potatoes and then I got a tomato, which I don't like to buy tomatoes that often, but I wanted to make guacamole this week. And I, this is probably from Mexico or someplace in Central America. No, it says California. I don't know what that means. Does it really mean California or is it just, maybe it's California. All right, so avocados from California and then a tomato and I can't read that tiny writing, um, but I did get those to make some guacamole. And then I got, I get these Applegate sausages. I got a whole bunch of them because we, we basically eat them, you know, Monday through Thursday and, and you know, maybe just a couple, maybe more. Um, they have, they're really good ingredients, especially like the new sugar varieties. Um, they have, you know, ingredients. It's pork, sea salt, dried onion, dried garlic, spices, dried rosemary. That's it. And they're frozen. I think you must freeze them first and then put them in the bag in the box. Because when you open this box, they come out and you cook them up. They're already cooked. You're just basically defrosting them and then warming them up. But there's no food residue, or very little anyway, that I've ever noticed on the box itself so I can recycle this box. There's no plastic lining or anything inside of it. So I just cook the sausage, and when, it, when I'm empty, when this is empty, I put it in my recycling. So it seems to work. And then, let's see, I got some Philadelphia cream cheese. Of course, you have to throw the lining to that away. It looks like aluminum, but I don't know if it really is, and I can't get it clean to recycle it. Uh, and then I bought some Kerrygold butter. Now, I was trying to buy local butter. They used to, at the fresh market, sometimes they sell Amish butter that is made like up in Pennsylvania or something, but they didn't have it today. And the other American-made butters are not grass-fed, and I want the grass-fed kind. Um, I wish I could, probably Whole Foods or some other store does carry American-made grass-fed butter, but the fresh market doesn't. So this is from Ireland. Um, but so, I mean, that there's definitely food miles for this. <coughs> However, you seriously can wash off this aluminum and, and uh, make it into a ball. As long as it's as big as your fist, it will go through the recycling conveyor belt. It won't fall through. So you can just, you know, as you go through the week and you acquire more aluminum foil, you can just make it into a big ball, <clears throat> excuse me, put it into your um, recycling. So, so yeah, so I got this. Now let me put this stuff back because I'm going to keep all the cold stuff together so it doesn't defrost too much. Uh, yeah, all right, let me put that down. Let's see, and again, I didn't bother with the plastic produce bags. You don't need them. You're gonna, are you gonna eat this? You're not gonna eat this. So why do you need a bag for it? It's got its own, it provides its own container. <laughs> now maybe tomatoes, you would wash that really thoroughly. And potatoes too, because I do like to eat the skin of the potatoes, but you're gonna wash them, right? So what the heck? Um, I, let's see, what else do I need? Oh, let me put this also. Uh, here, let me just stick this in here. I just want to keep it a little bit insulated so it doesn't defrost too quickly. Okay, here's a big bag. So this has a lot of plastic that I, that I can't avoid. And this has food miles too. This is from Chile. These are red grapes. My grandson, who I watch, loves grapes. It's his favorite fruit. And they, he can't have them at his house because they have a little dog who's deathly... Um, allergic to grapes, like almost died eating a little bit of grape. So no grapes in his house. So he loves to come to grandma's to eat these grapes. It's got plastic. It's from Chile. I try to wash it very thoroughly because I don't trust, you know, what they put on these things to grow them. So that's a definite compromise in terms of, you know, and I, I'm doing it for my grandson. Is it, I don't know, is that a good thing? Because, you know, it's got pesticides and it's, damaging the earth and you know it's his future right um, so I don't know that's that's a compromise and I'm not perfect that's for sure another thing I do is I buy this stuff because I'm the I'm, 
I would never eat this stuff, but other people in my family, like my husband, um, will eat this. And you know, he makes peanut butter and jelly or grilled cheese or whatever, and he wants, or like fried eggs, and he wants some bread, and this is what he likes. So I do get a loaf of this a week. When it's gone, it's gone, and you have to wait till I buy another one. Um, the other thing that I get also is these little mini bagels because they make a great snack or breakfast for the six-year-old or other people in the house. And when anything is left over, like when they're starting to get stale, I feed them to my chickens. Well, also I should mention these plastic bags. You can, at least in my area, I'm assuming in your area it, it works this way as well, but you can save all these up and then you can recycle them at a grocery store. There's a couple of grocery stores uh, where you can drop off the bags, the empty bags, and they re they don't recycle them, but they, they make them into treks, those like, you know, the deck building material, that sort of thing, or the, the maybe the benches um, that are made. They're still made out of plastic. There's still gonna be a problem way down the road, but at least we're reusing this. So there's some good to that. So yeah, so that's the other thing. Let's see, oh, this one's a lot of food miles. Bananas. I try to get the organic. I don't know why they have to put a plastic thing on the organic. They don't have a plastic thing on the non-organic. But um, I always think about the, the people working, you know, harvesting the bananas, growing the bananas, and the pesticides that, that they have to deal with. Um, it couldn't be a couldn't be good conditions for them. So organic is better, even though I think I've heard that, you know, since you peel these and eat the inside, you're not going to be affected by the pesticides. But I always think of the workers. So I don't want them exposed to uh, pesticides. So hopefully it's a little healthier if it's, if it's organic. Uh, let's see, what else did I get here? Uh, let's see, I, I got some of this goat mozzarella. Now this is also in plastic and it's uh, because my daughter cannot have dairy and I actually try to reduce my cow dairy. I gotta have to get a drink of water. <clears throat> Got a tickle in my throat. Mm. That's good. Um, um, I get, we, we do goat cheese and sheep cheese or yogurt. Um, and that comes in plastic, and I just bought this because Fresh Market doesn't always have it in, or they have different variations, like one week they might have cheddar, and the next week mozzarella. Um, and so I just pick it up to have it on hand. Um, I also picked up some hot dogs. You know, this isn't good either, but it's it makes a, a lunch for my husband one day in the week, or if the... Uh, six-year-old comes home from school and he's really hungry and dinner isn't ready yet or you know it's not going to be for a couple of hours I might make him up uh, a hot dog and sometimes my grandson will eat that too uh, let's see I got some of these organic a corn tortilla um, tortillas because have you ever made your own tortillas you cut them up and you fry them in uh, coconut oil and you salt them and they're delicious they're, they're warm and crisp so I got those because I thought that could be a snack this week. Uh, let's see. I also picked up some of these cheeses because people do like grilled cheese around here. I don't eat it, but other people do. I also picked up some, some of this soft goat cheese just to put in salads or in eggs or something like that. Um, or on crackers. And then I picked up some bacon because I forgot to order enough bacon from the farm. And actually, the bacon from the farm is sometimes too fatty and people don't really eat it, don't really like it here. So sometimes I just pick up this bacon. Again, it's plastic. And I, I think it's made in the U.S. Oh, it's so funny. Pork raised without antibiotics and fed a vegetarian diet. Pigs are vegetarians. It's ridiculous. Okay. And then, oh, I just needed to get some parchment. I had run out um, some baking, parchment for baking, lining sheets, and, um, you know what I mean, cookie sheets. Another uh, hot dog. You know what, I forgot to get hot dog rolls. Hmm, there's always something. 
And then this is also not so good for the food miles. It says imported from Italy because apparently we don't know how to make salami here. I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, but uh, again, I'm feeding this little six-year-old and he's very picky. He only eats about six foods. This is one of them. And so sometimes this is his lunch or sometimes it's a little snack when he gets home and he's hungry. He's, he's often hungry. Um, and so, okay, I got one more bag and then I'll stop. And some of these things were a little bit unusual for me to get. Like, I don't get them every week. Um, it's just for certain reasons. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to show you this. I got this. This is in glass. Carolina Gold barbecue sauce. Bold and tangy with hidden veggies. So I'll get veggies into people. Um, and I'm probably going to slow cook a chicken that I got from the farm in this. That's a super easy meal. You just stick it in the slow cooker, dump this over it, and forget about it until dinner time. So, so that's worth the money. And I do believe this was on sale. I think it was like $3.99 or something. So I got that. Let's see. I was completely out of olive oil, so I got a big thing. This is expensive. It's glass, 100% California extra virgin olive oil. Um, this is a good brand. They don't, apparently they don't, um, you know, mix other uh, oils in with their olive oil and then label it olive oil. Um, so yeah, cold press. So this is expensive, but this is a healthy oil to cook with, so I think it's worth it. I, I tend to cook with olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, and then ghee uh, or butter. So those are like the fats that I use. Let me put this somewhere. But that is expensive, it is. Um, and then, oh, this is something I've never bought before, but I heard on some YouTube video that uh, someone uses this for pests in her garden. So this was the only size they had, it's so big. Um, I've never bought this before because, it, first of all, it's in plastic, so, you know, Dr. Bronner, you're so good for the environment, except your soap comes in this plastic, so I don't know about that. But also, it's so dang preachy. Like there's all this tiny print where he's preaching at you, <laughs> kind of like I'm doing in this video. But uh, I always thought, geez. Um, so anyway, but I bought it because I saw somebody recommend it, especially the peppermint for keeping pests away. And I have pests in my apple trees, my peach trees, my cherry trees, the trees are all getting eaten. So then I also, I forgot that I had bought those chips and they'll be a special thing, but I usually get some kind of bag of chips just to munch on during, during the week. Uh, and this one, I was looking at the ingredients and this one's pretty good. It's organic whole stone ground white corn, organic expeller pressed sunflower oil. Sunflower oil isn't that good for you, but I think it's like really high in omega-6s, but at least it's organic expeller press and or expeller press safflower oil. I'm pretty sure that's very bad for you, but at least it's not the processing isn't toxic. <laughs> and then sea salt. So yeah, so I got those to snack on as well. We're such a snacky family. I have to provide them. And then this, I don't usually get this. I bought the Simply Orange. I think I bought buy orange juice maybe four or five times a year, um, usually because it's Christmas or you know Easter or something. You know we're gonna have a special breakfast. Um, but I got this, and I also got this. This this is a carrot, and this is in a glass jar. This is in plastic, um, because I think I'm gonna combine them and make popsicles for the six year old because it's hot now. And he loves popsicles, but they buy these really sugary things with all sorts of horrible dye in them. And of course, they're all plastic wrapped. So we're gonna, I bought, um, a, what do you call it, a popsicle mold. And I was thinking we would make these. So uh, I'll combine, we'll have a carrot orange popsicle. We'll see how that goes over. This is an experiment. And I'm trying to get him to have healthier snacks instead of eating so much. I mean, this is really sugary, but at least it has some sort of nutritional value to it, hopefully. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. That is my grocery haul. I've been talking for 24 minutes. That's crazy. But so 
you can see that I'm thinking about, I'm trying to get things that are local, that are made in the USA, that have the least amount of practice uh, plastic, that I, I, with an eye to being able to maybe recycle things, glass I can recycle, some of the plastic I can recycle, um, the cardboard I can recycle. But, um, but, you know, it's impossible, I think, if you're feeding a family, you know, if you're just on your own or you just have one other person and they're equally on board with, with being zero waste and they'll go to, you know, great lengths to avoid any kind of packaging, you know, you've got it made in the shade. But I always have to make compromises when I go to the grocery store. And it makes me angry at our, at our food culture. It really does. Because I feel like I'm being taken. I can't live my values because the whole system is uh, all set up against me. So I don't like that. Anyway, so that is my grocery haul. I don't know what day I will put this up in July, um, but you know, it'll, I'll, I'll figure that out. All right, well take care. And I, I, I'm gonna try and find a book that talks about food miles and stuff to link to, um, so that I can tie this into book two. All right, so happy Sustainability July, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.